So Gaius Zeus, there's a lot to get into what this guy has to offer. He's a five-star flow attuned Esper who can switch between a normal mode and a God King mode. Uh, so in the normal mode, uh, he's able to deal damage in the S1, damage to an enemy based on the attack, extends all their debuffs and stuns the enemy. Now in the God King mode, the Thunderstrike then turns into dealing damage to all enemies based on his attack as a chance of stealing enemy buffs. So in the second ability, Thunder Judgment summons lightning to attack random enemies multiple times times deals damage based on the attack prioritizing attacking different targets and deals decreasing damage to the same targets dispel all buffs from the targets and then after ascension you'll be able to inflict buff blocker uh, then for the god king mode judgment is actually going to do the same thing um, just with a think i think a slightly higher damage threshold uh, and then also after ascension you'll be getting the buff blocker now in the third ability thunderstorm switches to god king mode and gains an extra turn gains a shield based on his attack and extends his own buffs and resets God King Judgment's cooldown. This ability cooldown is not affected by any other methods, so no Unki Chad, etc., etc., right? Uh, then God King Thunderstorm, so switches to normal mode, gains an extra turn, gives an AoE shield to all allies based on the attack, extends own buffs, and resets the Thunder Judgment's cooldown and reduces Thunderstorm's cooldown to one turn. Now, God King is undispellable, so King of God, it changes all ability effects, increases crit rate, and deals bonus damage upon attacking. In the normal mode, his passive ability increases accuracy, and Seer is afflicted upon attacking. And then in the God King mode, increases crit rate when attacking, deals bonus damage based on the target's max HP, and this has a limit, and you can obtain him from the gold record player and or Super Sense, which we'll get into in a moment. Now, Li Guang, the Vermilion Bird, is a speed single target uh, fighter esper, so the first ability bright flames attacks an enemy multiple times based on her attack each hit increases her ap by a certain percentage and then liguan's second ability fetching fire so it attacks one target multiple times and deals damage based on her attack and deals bonus damage on based on her speed each hit steals the target's buffs and then after ascension uh upon successfully stealing extends on her own buffs and this can be triggered once per turn the third ability dazzling sunfire increases all allies ap attacks one target multiple times and deals bonus damage to the target based on her speed uh, also going to be obtained from the gold record player and or super sense now last but not least we have nick magni who is our freebie unit uh, it's able to extend enemy ability cooldowns and inflict silence. S1 is going to have some damage with an attack break. S2 is actually going to be able to attack multiple times. Each hit deals damage based on his attack and has a chance of extending the target's ability cooldowns. Uh, and then after ascension, upon successfully extending, reduces his own ability cooldowns. And then the third ability is actually going to um, be called Skyfall. So it attacks all enemies based on his attack, dispels enemy shield, and silences the enemy each enemy silence increases AP by a certain percentage, and we can get this unit from the event shop. Now, getting into some more meaty stuff here, we have improvements to the Ritual Miracle. So floor 11 through 16 will have been added uh, to the Ritual Miracle. And they're also for floor 13 through 16, will have a much higher chance of getting six star relics. Uh, now, again, I feel like at 13, 16, it should really only be six star relics dropping, but hopefully there's also an adjustment to the stats, like better stats and you know more flawless pieces and stuff like that, right? Now, um, on top of that, uh, some other things that's pretty important here uh, is going straight into the new event. Uh, so we'll actually be able to obtain Thunder Mixers, uh, Resource Depots, um, and there's going to be some other gameplays that will unlock in this event. Divine Essence and Thunder Essence will be something we can obtain. Uh, we can use that to redeem um, Nick Magni, name cards, uh, as well as gold records and many other great rewards. Now, there's going to be four chapters to this event, so it will unlock after you completed 80% of the respective chapter before. Um, and then as you are going through this, once you get to the raid boss, you'll be able to use the Thunder Matrix to actually power up your team so that as you go, even if your team isn't that strong, you'll be able to do this uh, kind of like getting like extra abilities like we did in the last event, right? Now, for Zeus's probability up, it has been adjusted significantly. So, a chance for the guaranteed legendary Esper has been greatly reduced. Super Sense has been added for the probability up event while further reducing the attempts for the guaranteed legendary Esper draw. The probability of getting the feature probability up Esper has been increased to 50%. Moreover, we've added new rules to help players get their ideal Espers more easily, and players will get the featured probability up Esper within two guaranteed draws, and the guaranteed draw attempts are shared among 
among multiple card pools, which I think it's saying this is going to be shared amongst the Super Sense probability up and the Echoes probability up. I think they're two separate like draw uh, gotchas, right? Now, they've also prepared the record conversion event for old players. So during the event, gold records spun in each or, or in the echo can be converted into super sound matrices. And every 10 spins grants 50 super sound matrices. Um, so there's that. The probability up info and adjustments, which is really huge here. Um, like I said, we'll be able to get those super sound matrices, which you can also get from Union uh, Shop, Temporal Tower, and Bounties. Uh, the probability of acquiring the legendary Esper from Super Sense is a 0.5% uh, consolidated chance. Guaranteed chances include a equals 1.51%. Uh, and then the guarantee rules, if a player has gotten any legendary S or hasn't gotten any legendary S for in 79 echo spins, the next spin is guaranteed to yield a legendary S for upon getting a legendary S for players have a 50% chance of getting the featured Esper for the probability up event. <clears throat> and once you obtain the legendary Esper from the echo, the spin tree will reset. All right. Now, on top of that, the other thing that I think is worth noting here is that in the Super Sense, I think they're only going to be adding legendaries or they're going to be shifted to only being able to obtain them from uh, the Super Sense, which is going to be Ares, Tricky, Sally, and Raven. These are the only way you can get these four espers and they won't be in any other card pool. Now, on top of that, Gold record player adjustments is going to be going from 119 to 99 for the guaranteed. Um, and then after the update, if players don't get the legendary Esper within 99 echo spins, they'll always get one from the next echo spin, right? Um, so again, you will not be able to obtain Lewis, Tricky, Sally, or Raven from the echo, but you can get them from the Super Sense. Now, um, on top of that, we will be getting uh, Super Sound Matrices times 500, which we can use for the Super Sense, um, I guess, gotcha, after the update. Uh, the warm-up match is going to be something really cool, too, because this is going to be a band pick event. So you'll be able to pick five espers, ban one espers from the opponent team, and match will deploy a 4v4 format. Uh, and as you are going through the tiers, you will obtain supply coins, and you can use these supply coins to get Legendary Starmon, uh, random six-star flawless relics, and other tournament shop rewards. Now, on, upon reaching the tier Apex Legend, you can obtain Nija skin, Rowdy Boy. Now, we'll also be getting some adjustments to the Miramon and Cube Miracle 7-H HP. Uh, better rewards coming into the Infinite Miracle as well. The Desolate Lands will also be having a new ra uh, rating added. So EX, EX Plus, and EX Plus Plus. Um, and then now if you quit, you will now have that being considered a loss and you lose stamina, right? So... Going into the Rewind event, this is going to be readjusted. You guys' voices have been heard. They said, okay, we implemented that pretty terribly. So now we're going to actually be able to get the Abilamon. And yes, if you already used it, you will be able to do this again, where now you'll get the uh, star rating materials, the leveling up materials, and the uh, uh, Abilamons that went into these units, all right? So then with the story optimizations, they're going to be adjusting the rewards and difficulty there. Um, and then going into another meaty portion here, the Esper balance changes. So we got some nerfs coming in. Um, I guess Clara has been adjusted. So instead of her doing a two debuff removal from targets, she's only going to be doing one now. Um, and then of course her Hymn of Life is going to now have a one debuff to spell for each ally now being added to that. So they kind of adjusted it. But the thing is, is that that's added or it's being factored into now a cooldown. So again, that is a huge, huge shift. Um, then, of course, with Lucas, he's now not going to be doing a 50% AP uh, steal. It's going to be 10%. So that got nerfed as well. Um, Ahmad Geb is now going to also be kind of, I would say, allocating the HP uh, in the Warm Harmonics passive slightly differently. So uh, Geb is going to now, in the new one, uh, heal the ally with the lowest HP percentage each time, and each 1% max HP loss increases the healing amount by 0.5%. And of course, it keeps everything else the same. Um, then, of course, the supporting song itself is now going to be going from 2% base attack per stack at 25 stacks to a 4% base attack per stack, max 15 stacks. Uh, Shia Chui Yi, which is Death Guard Hay, is going to have been adjusted from doing true damage of um, now going from 5 to 10% at a 80% um, base of Shia Chui Yi's max HP. And then Netherworld Hurl is now going to be an assist ability, so it's going to actually call Shia Yuzhir. Um, to assist with Heaven Awaits, and then vice versa is going to also have Heaven Awaits calling Shia Chi to assist with Netherworld, Hurl, and that's pretty much that. So again, this update is like super, super packed, 
It's a lot of information. I would say right off rip, like Zeus, my opinion on that, like he seems like he's going to be pretty busted. He has a lot going into his kit. I feel like all the units coming in this update are going to all be pretty good. The new content seems like that's going to give us something else to do, more guides, etc. that's going to be coming. Um, the biggest thing, though, I would say from this update is really seeing what this probability change. We got some huge shifts on the gotcha. Um, and I think that this is something that, again, is very, very much so necessary if you want to keep your players happy. Um, so I am happy to see that they are trying to reduce. We will see see how exactly this is going to look once it's implemented into the game because this on paper I guess could still be you know kind of confusing but we'll see once it's implemented in the game I have another video coming for that but that's going to be pretty much that guys let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one